as, hey, they're our ancestors. Or, if they're not, and they were created by super alien beings who made us as a laboratory experiment and put us here to do what we're doing, which is not very well, not very good, then those guys become God. We're right. eavesdropping, we're trespassing literally on God's territory as you define God, which is not the big guy that I've been thinking of all my life since I grew up reading the Catechism, but something lower than the angels that basically is as fallible and as human and as mortal as all of us, but has been someone playing God. People, you guys out there, you have wanted it. You haven't wanted to know the truth. Because if you really had, you would have known the truth a long time ago. You're the problem, as opposed to being the solution. And just now, those of you who are watching are possibly becoming part of the solution to finding the truth. I mean, also, what if this data head that uh, you, 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 you think we may possess, what if it said, I came from the planet Earth a long time ago? What if, what if he's one of ours? Sometimes they genetically engineered humans. These so-called sky gods always visited in spectacular flying vehicles. You don't really think that this is the end, do you? Because that would mean that life was designed to be cruel and senseless. I'm simply saying we need to change our way of thought. And here it is essential to understand that our increasing frequency, along with our ability to shape reality, are only being experienced at a fraction of what will occur in the coming months and years leading up to and beyond the shift. So what now? That's for you to decide. Me? I'm getting out of the game. soon and the people are not ready and one of the reasons I do speak out so bluntly and so openly is if in some small way I can help people get prepared for this because I believe that this reality once we have accepted it and understood it and gone beyond the fear will bring about an expansion of consciousness in the human race that will truly help us and prepare us to go out there and take our rightful place in that infinite community of life. Help me with my math. Mr. Shackleford says if I don't learn it, I won't be able to function in the real world. Ali Visatos and his colleagues are eager to understand and apply some of these new ideas to the real world. Get a grip on reality. That changes the equation quite a bit. And considering that that's reality, it's time to wake up. You need to come back to reality, and soon! What are you doing? Showing your mother the real me. No, there's always been an upstairs. A favorite quote of mine by Thomas Jefferson. He, she, who knows nothing is closer to the truth than he, she, whose mind is filled with falsehoods and errors. Except for the extraterrestrials that I've been contacted, it says, wake up, guys, you're in a huge play. That, you know, like William Shakespeare said, the whole world's the stage and we're just the players on this thing, which is actually correct. The thing is that there's play going on multi-dimensions and from different places right now. There's a group of extraterrestrials that consider us a virtual reality game. Disclosure will probably have the same dramatic impact as 9-11, uh, the Kennedy assassination, Pearl Harbor, all rolled into one uh, because it's such a game-changing life-altering event and it's going to come in, in, a, in a shock, uh, really shock and awe. It's like a lightning bolt when people first realize that, that this thing that they suspected is now confirmed. And at that point, people are going to begin to behave in a very human way. I found a way to change the game. And then you put them in Photoshop or some of the other programs and then you play. You change the contrast, change the game, you change the, the gamma. We need to get to that door, but how? The stage is lousy with drama geeks. Actors kill Blinken! 
In the game of life, you just get over the obstacle, that's all. You know, rules are made to be broken. In 20 years, in 50 years, do we honestly think we're going to be looking exactly the same as we do today? No. When we look into a mirror, we do not see our real selves. I'll tell you what I think. I think you hide behind all these disguises so you don't have to face the fact that the real you is an inconsiderate jerk. No, you got a sprinkler head that's leaking out. More and more people to uh, see the world in a way that they, they wouldn't have done before. And it's getting faster and faster. And around, uh, in then, I suddenly felt like I was looking at these thoughts from another perspective. And I wondered, who is it that's aware that I'm thinking? And suddenly, I was thrown into this expansive, amazing feeling of freedom from myself, from my problems. I saw that I was bigger than what I do. I was bigger than my body. I was everything and everyone. I was no longer a fragment of the universe. I was the universe. And Ever since that day, I've been trying to get back there. They are aware that we are about to leap into their world. It comes and it goes. It's like riding a wave. Sometimes I'm on, sometimes I'm off. But at least I know where I want to go. And I want to take as many people with me as I possibly can because the feeling is amazing. <laughs> you know, it's our intention. Our intention is everything. Well, I was two people my whole life. I 1921. If you watch that, men behaving badly, sir. Oh, yeah. The truth is out there. I'm going to paraphrase. The truth is in here. You're about to hear the truth. I'm an actor. There are other people, other beings, other intelligences that have been observing us for a long time. That evidence is overwhelming. They are aware that we are about to leap into their world. Uh, to learn that there's alien life or the life of others out there makes people reach into their own humanity. And for some people it will be their finest day, and for some people it simply won't. Uh, we expect to have all kinds of different reactions to disclosure. The truth of the matter when it comes to analyzing who the others are and how we will respond to that uh, is, that, is that the people who actually know the most right now have not been talking for seven decades. So the question really is, uh, will we be okay with this new interaction with this non-human intelligence? The one thing we can tell you is just based on history, they have not landed on the White House lawn. They've not blown up Congress. They haven't done any of those kind of science fiction uh, uh, kind of events that one could say are War of the Worlds kind of events. It's unlikely that because we disclose that we're onto their game that they're going to do that. Some are just smarter than the others. Welcome to the others. <laughs>
you learn more information on how to make sure you never miss your favourite series, including those on our soon to launch site. Ruins of all kinds on all kinds of planets from here all the way out to Saturn. And unless you figure that in the equation, unless you understand that we have a hidden ancient history, are going to prove mature enough that when we wake up to the fact that our world is totally different than what we thought, What you see is just a mask.